The essence or the goal of, of EU Science project is to establish a database with scientific equipment and services which academia could offer for uh, industry needs. Well, industry needs are uh, well, industry is interested in uh, developing uh, new products and services and uh, they are not always aware what kind of services and uh, what kind of equipment uh, they could uh, get uh, and where they can uh, get it. So, and this database will provide information uh, about those scientific services and equipment. I think that initiative that you are taking right now is very important because uh, in the future, I think we have to look upon the Baltic region as a European macro region. We cannot longer talk about Latvia as one place and Poland as one place or Sweden as one place. We have to look upon a macro region in order to be competitive. And I look upon this as uh, the way it was originally done. I mean, uh, some almost 1,000 years ago, I mean, when the League of Hansa was developed. The League of Hansa was a trade union that was built upon competence, upon the guilds. Uh, and I think we are going back into that one, where we have to say, see a collaboration around the Baltic Sea. Uh, use our each other's competence. I think that the important lesson that we learned during this project is that although scientists from two universities are cooperating for, for years already, for ages I would say, but cooperation on the administrative level is important as well so that we as administrators can actually know what are the difficulties in scientific cooperation that we previously didn't know. The basic idea is really to have a kind of platform where the uh, we can uh, show what are our capacities, capabilities to do measurements, to do research, cooperation with industry. And I, what I expect that this platform will grow and it will become really uh, useful. And what we see now, now it's in more in testing mode, but I hope that in common five years we will see there will be more, let's say, user of the platform and there will be also real, let's say, project coming out from this uh, Kind of approach. I believe the challenges are often about culture, they're often about the simple things, um, they're often about getting meetings right, understanding each other, having good lines of communication, understanding the big goal and if companies and departments of universities do not understand where they're going they will never get there. So it is a challenge, uh, my talk is entitled the holy grail, hunting the holy grail, is this impossible? No. It's not impossible, it can be done, but it needs a lot of people to help. The scope of your science project is uh, uh, far beyond uh, Latvia and Estonia, so we want to attract other, uh, other countries and other universities um, uh, to use use science portal and both academia and industry partners because that's quite logical if there is some unique expertise available at Riga then uh, why shouldn't uh, industry uh, representatives from let's say Helsinki uh, not use that, uh, that uh, services. I would like to uh, ask both industry and academia representatives uh, to get familiar with your science project, with the portal, join it and benefit from joining your science.